Next, I'm going to share with you how to create a flip function uh, to an intelligent block. So open up this file, go to flip function drawing. All right, this is a block that we have just created that has view variations here. All right. So next, we're going to add in another function for this, which is a flip function. So first, we would right click block editor. And inside here, we are going to use the parameters tab located here and look for flip. Okay, we're going to add a flip parameter to it first. And we will do so by drawing the line of axis across. Notice here. So the back of the water closet is going to be my line of axis. Huh? So I'm going to just put it this way like that. Okay. And then the flip state, I'll just put it somewhere on the right hand side here. Notice once I've done this, there is an arrow that points this. This will become the icon of which when we click, the uh, water closet will flip over the other side. Okay, so for ease of usage, so I'm going to just adjust this so that I can move it closer. Okay, not on the side which it will impede or overlap with the drawing. So I'm going to put, place it here, right? And with this, I'm going to go to the Actions tab and I'm going to look for this flip function here. So I will click on Flip and I will need to select the parameter, which is this arrow icon here. And next, the prompt will be asking us to select objects in which I will select the water closet in this case. Huh? And once I'm done, just press space or enter. And I'm going to close the block editor to test it first. Okay, so I'm going to close this and save the changes. Now, if I select this now, notice this block has another arrow icon here. So if I click on this now, it will begin to flip across this way like that. Okay. But when I change it to front though, however, you notice that it doesn't have this function. Okay. And when I change it to side, it also doesn't have this function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the block editor again, just to create the flip parameter or the flip function for the side view. Okay. So I'm going to change, first of all, the visibility states to side. And I'm going to go to parameters now and click on flip to add the line of axis first. Okay, so I'm going to just put it somewhere here. And I'm going to reposition the I want to re reposition the icon, the flip icon again somewhere here so that it's easier to manipulate or easier to find and click. Yeah. After I'm done with this, I'm going to look for actions and look for flip and first click on the parameter. Okay. And second, I'm going to select the objects I'm going to affect by this particular flip function here. And then I'll press space to complete the command. And I'm going to close the block editor and save the changes. Now notice, if I do this now, okay, there is another arrow icon that will appear here, and that will allow us to flip quite easily, okay? So I can now toggle plan, okay, it has that flip function. I toggle the site, that will be the flip function as well. But I think I'm going to just leave the front quite I'm not going to build a function for flip for this because it will it is symmetrical and it will be the same anyway. All right. So 
go ahead and test it out and try this function out on your own.